Heaven knows we need never be ashamed of our tears, for they are rain upon the blinding dust of earth, overlying our hard hearts. I was better after I had cried than before, more sorry, more aware of my own ingratitude, more gentle. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And if you're not aware what that was from, that was a quote from Charles Dickens's Great Expectations, which is a great segue into the cider that I'm going to be trying today with, thanks to the amazing Big Nose and Beardy Cider Company once again, I'm going to be trying out a bottle of their Great Expectations Medium Sweet Cider. Um... Yeah, I mean, what what can I say about Big Nose and Beardy that I've not said already in the past? Every single one of their drinks has just been fantastic so far. Uh, so, I do actually have great expectations for this cider. Funny that. Um, one of small batches of award-winning real cider pressed with enthusiasm from local apples in Framfield, East Sussex. That is what Big Nose and Beardy is all about. Great Expectations is a mix of Howgate Wonder, Red Pippin, Blenheim Orange and Dabinet Apples. For some reason, those names put us in mind of Dickens, and one of our favourite novels. We hope we meet your expectations too with this batch that was a delight from the moment we opened it in the summer. This is uh, comes in 330 more bottles, as they all do, and this one is 6.2% ABV. So, yeah, nice strength there, I must say. Um, I must admit, I've not heard of half of these apple varieties, Howgate Wonder, Wonder, um, Red Pippin. I've heard of the Blenheim Orange though, uh, but I can't say I've ever had a cider that's actually had um, those apple varieties in it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this has to offer because I think a lot of the rest of their range has been quite dry. The fact that this is medium sweet, hopefully it's going to be quite different. So as with all the Big Nose and BED ciders, they are completely still. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's smelling lovely. Right, let's get this poured out. Now, yeah, not only do I have one bottle, I have two bottles that Big Nose and Beardy um, sent over to me. There you go, I've got a little bit a little bit left in there. I might see if I can get some sediment in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, there's a little bit left in the glass, but uh, here we go, let's carefully show you the colour there. Um, yeah, it is going to be hazy. There are some um, little bits of sediment floating in there, but lovely, lovely light golden colour there. That looks absolutely lovely. So, what's it smell like? Oh, you're getting a lovely, um, yeah, sweet, sweet fruitiness from that. It smells, um, it smells slightly acidic actually. A little bit of a, well, maybe a little bit of tartness on the nose there. Almost smells like it's um, a nice apple pie aroma. A little bit of a um, little bit of red fruits coming through on there too. Juicy green apple aromas. Yeah, smells absolutely lovely. I'm gonna dive in. Cheers, everyone, and big thanks to Big Nose and Beardy once again for their great expectations. I'm well, looking forward to it. Cheers. Hmm. Oh man, that is really, that's really easy going. Really juicy, wow. Nice texture behind it as well. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's lovely, let's get the rest in. Get all that, get all that goodness in there. Yeah, this is a really juicy cider. Really fruity sweet as well um, but not overpoweringly so nice little hint of tartness that um, keeps it from being a little bit too on the sweet side mmm oh yeah big fruitiness big juiciness lovely lovely full body behind it a little bit of a chalky texture behind it as well Really can feel like uh, the bits on the roof of your mouth. Getting some, um, almost like a, some sort of a citrus peel in there as well. Maybe a touch of like orange peel or something like that I'm getting. Definitely a slight citric twang behind it. But yeah, there's a lovely balance behind it all. There's, um, th yeah, there's, there's no, nothing really overpowering about this. But this is just an absolutely total thirst quencher for sure. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's the per that's the perfect summer sipper. That one. Despite that, the strength is hidden quite well. This is drinking like a four point five percenter for sure. Lovely, lovely fruity, sweet aftertaste as well. There's lingering. There is there is definitely a, a, a touch of a touch of orange citrus um, aftertaste as well. Just right at the back of the throat. It's just just there. Lovely, superb cider once again from Big Nose and Beardy, I must say. Um, yeah, let's go for a final taste before our final verdict. Oh, that is lovely. That is beautiful. So easy to drink. So refreshing. Fla the flavours linger around so you can savour them. Oh, it's just the more the more you have it, the more that you just want to go back for more and more. Um, yeah, Big Nose and Beardy, I've um, I've done it once again. That this is a, a superb a superb cider. And for those that have a little bit more of a sweet tooth and not are um, as akin to dry ciders, this is going to be definitely one that you want to um, get a hold of. Uh, I don't know if uh, Big Nose and Beardy are producing this at the moment, but I would imagine that they hopefully will in the future. So. Let's get the chalks out, and for a final verdict, I'm going to go and give Big Nose and Beardies great expectations, a 9 out of 10, very well deserved. These guys just, they, they, just know, they just know what they're doing, don't they? It, and the great thing is I've got another bottle of this to uh, have whenever I feel like it, so um, yeah, I am definitely going to be enjoying that as well. I still have, I think it's two or three more of their uh, of their range to try, so look out for that. I think it actually might be three, so yeah, we're not finished with Big Nose and Beardy yet. And I tell you what, I've got great expectations for those ones as well. With that said, that's another episode of The Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the sun in this, uh, once again, lovely summer's day. Take care, guys. Till next time.